Welcome back to another episode of In the Garage Kit Reviews. And in this episode, Welcome back to another episode of Octung Brick and today we have as you've heard the 222 or the SDKFZ 222 scout car. So here it is. Do, 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 do. There it is, the command scout car. And that so um, this is fully decked out, has all the stickers on it, exactly the way I wanted it. And um, uh, what is it? Uh, as you can see, the of course the wheels naturally roll as far as kit features go. Uh, the turret does spin 360. So it does go all the way around, and the barrel does elevate and depress, as well as the machine gun uh, simulated artillery there. Uh, so, um, and it does, you can put one guy in there, albeit it's only half a guy, so uh, because there, I just could not build, uh, get a guy in there, and actually I'll show you that. Uh, this is one, one of my first uh, tries at it. And this did not work. Um, the uh, I really came close to actually being able to get a guy in there, and that would have been the side door, but um, just could not get the sloping. It wouldn't work out with the sloping across the top, so that was wound up to be an epic fail. <laughs> but it was a good effort, though, and that uh, I got the length and stuff right. It just could not get that sloping. It would have been so cool to actually have got uh, a guy in there, but it uh, didn't happen, so that was it for that. So the best that I could do with this, uh, because just the design of it, there's so many sloping angles on this thing, it's just incredible for such a small vehicle. The best I could do is you put a half a guy in the turret. That's that's uh, as good as that's going to get <laughs> So for the scout car, but otherwise it came out really good. All the decals on it, of course, Africa Corps logo, the 15th Panzer Division, Insignia, Balkan Kreutz on both sides. Um, this was actually, it's a, a hatch uh, sticker over top of the dark tan uh, flag. And there actually, there is a tan color dark flag, but uh, it's like about $50 <laughs> uh, Canadian, which would probably be, I don't know, maybe 35 bucks American. And that to uh, get that dumb little flag, that's, that's how ridiculous it is. So uh, anyway, so I just stuck with the dark tan, put a sticker on it, um, as well as the storage, and then of course the driver door on the uh, on the side there, and that's uh, and the viewports on the front, and of course naturally the headlights, and that. Uh, otherwise, this kit was like really good. It it did come out very good, even though it wasn't as good as what I wanted with getting guys in there. But I uh, hope you like that. That's pretty much it. There's not really a whole lot of features because. You can't, just can't do too much with uh, minifigs in this thing, other than the guy on the top. Now a final word on accessories. So here in front you've got, uh, you know, the last video, uh, one of the previous videos I made, uh, we talked about jerry cans. Well, I got some others to bring up to you. Now this is the one here from the Minifig Co that uh, I told you about. It was a great little jerry can, realistic and stuff, but I was just using the door here. This is one thing I noticed about it. It actually is kind of loose. It just rotates like really easy on there, so it's not a snug fit. But I just got these jerry cans here from a company called Brick Soldier over in Switzerland. So I want to show you these. They got three different types. Uh, which was typical what they did when they had a, a jerry can that they carried water in they put the stripe white stripes across it So you'd know it was water or Wasser and that that way uh, they wouldn't drink the gasoline <laughs> it Makes good sense and that they wouldn't drink the fuel. So uh, They've got it in both tan and In the dark bluish gray, which was great plus they also have just a plain version and it actually is really snug. So if you put this on, it actually, you got to push that on there. And it is rock solid. Like this sucker just won't move. That is excellent. So it comes off just as easy. 
and that just it's like a lego piece the way they made these so hats off to brick soldier over in switzerland for uh these jerry cans so uh this half track originally i put the ones from the minifig co on but i'm going to switch these out for uh the ones from brick soldier here i think these were these are awesome these are my new favorites now uh, another little thing uh just for just to note uh, this will be going in um, the SDKFZ251-8, the uh, Kranken Panzerwagen, and that is the ambulance version of the 251. And this is a really good helmet I found here. They did a really good job with the, the detail and scraping and all that kind of stuff that you'd normally see, you know, with the helmet that's in use and stuff. So this there's going to be a helmet included with that kit, just like there is on the 251 here. And that on this side, uh, on this side of it, uh, I stuck one to the side of the uh, the half track. Well, there'll be one of these on there included with the kit as well. So uh, when that, when I show you that video of that half track, it's going to be fully decked out, uh, medical stuff. There's tools, uh, stretchers, um, little medical bag. There's I think a syringe, some scissors. There's some really cool stuff in there. So. Uh, look forward to that. It's got a flag. It's, of course, it's uh, totally out in medical. And one extra one extra thing, which is a first, uh, as far as realism goes, um, you know, in in any theater that the Germans were in, they would drape a flag, usually over top of the the hood of a vehicle. They'd put it so it ha it would have a large Hakenkreuz or a swastika, as we know it, and that over top a flag with the uh, uh, swastika so that way they the uh, aerial or the air force the luftwaffe and any anybody else uh, that is an ally would not attack them or strafe them whatnot from the sky so this the medical half track will actually have that flag over top on the back part but look forward to that kit uh, that's the sdk of z251 slash eight also the 251 slash three the communications or radio command vehicle that is also coming out as a kick so we got three variants so that is which i've talked about in the previous video so anyway hats off again to brick soldier for these awesome uh accessories thanks for watching